Shalom, Shalom, Kahalah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name is only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I'll give double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great Muslim part of this truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole full elect scattered abroad, man. Alright, and real quick, you see in this video, it says, Ring video shows woman and her son unknowingly, unknowingly, followed to their house by a creepy man tries to break in okay so what happened was it was a, a woman and her son walking home okay what you know obviously is at night and they were being followed unknowingly I mean, they wasn't paying attention but they were being followed by this creepy man okay and he walked right up to their door and tried to walk into their house stood out there you see him peeping inside their door all you know weirdly you know, this person has obviously have spirits on them, you know, demons on this man. And really, a lot of these people out here are going to have demons on them. You have these uh, purge laws getting passed in Chicago, Illinois, and really all these other st uh, states are going to follow. Well, pretty much, you know, they're going to un unleash a lot of these prisoners, a lot of these people in jail, and certain crimes and offenses like kidnapping, second degree murder will not be detainable. So pretty much they won't hold you. They're going to just let you run freely into your court date or whatever, into your trial. So we're coming into a time of great death and destruction, man. And you women are going to be affected the most. The most in a time of chaos, trouble, and hell, the people who are most affected are women and children. That's why you women are supposed to be with your man. You see, and you see how she was begging the kid to go take a bath. That's why it's important to have a male figure in the household, man. Okay, this man followed them. Okay, and targeted them because ultimately he didn't, well, ultimately because he didn't see a man. Okay, had he saw a man, he probably would have thought twice. You see? Women without men are more, are going to be more likely and susceptible to, to be attacked than women that have men. Okay, and that's why, and, and then men of the Lord is going to be so precious in that day. A woman shall cleave to one man. Seven women shall cleave to one man for what protection. Okay, this is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. You should be paying attention, man. You should be paying attention. You should be, you know, uh, um, alert. You should know what, know what time that we're in. It says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So us in the spirit, we got to do as much things as we can in the spirit as possible. Redeeming this time that we have because the days are evil, man. Okay. And like I said, you women, you know, you may, you, you, you may have had a man and, you know, thought you was going to be independent. They can do bad all by yourself. Okay, and you may have taken the man from his own children. Okay, well, guess what? You're gonna have to you gonna have to ask for all that, man, because when when this uh, chaos and this collapse comes, you're gonna be the number one targets, man. Unfortunately, I mean, it's just the way it is. It's the way of life. Okay, the weak are preyed upon, and women and children are the weaker. Okay, and that's why you're gonna need a man. All right. She said, "I'm gonna call the police." By the time the police get there, they ain't gonna be able to stop whatever that man came to do. Okay, Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my words. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. These women are very careless. They said that she was, they, 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 they didn't even know he was behind, he was behind them. She was uh, uh, unknowingly just walking through the streets with her son and didn't even realize that this guy was at her door. Okay, it says, Give ear unto my speech, ye careless daughters. 
Many days and years shall you be troubled, ye careless women. These women are very careless, man. You know, they don't think twice. You know, they, 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 they're at ease and, and uh, leisure. You got women, you know, you know, talking shit and, and, you know, flicking men off and talking shit to men. Well, the only way you're able to do that is because you have these 911. You, you, got, you, can, you can pick up your phone and call 911 and hope they come and catch the person after they already, you know, <laughs> assault you. Okay, now they investigate, but what happens when there is no 911? What happens when there is no investigating? Okay, then it's just gonna be you and hey man, hell. Okay, you gonna be left out there in hell, man. Many days and years shall you be troubled, ye careless women, for the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. And I bet you that woman was trembling when she saw that damn creep outside her window. That guy was a creep, man. That guy was a weirdo. You saw, you saw how he was lo looking all into the house. You know, but you got a lot of creeps and weirdos out here. And he, and the Lord is going to put the spirit on these creeps and weirdos to be even bigger creeps and weirdos in these end times. And, you know, death, you know, the spirits of vengeance are going to be put on these people, man. Okay. Be troubled, ye careless one. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins, man. Okay. And the problem with our people is they don't know who the Lord is, man. Okay, they have no idea who the Lord is. How about Shim How Shai? So they think everything's sweet. Think God is all love. Think everything is all peaches and cream. Okay, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. And our people that don't want to repent and don't want to get right, the Lord's going to lay stumbling blocks before you, man. Okay, but to us, this is easy. This is plain. We understand. We can see it. It all makes sense. But for the majority of our people, they can't see it right now until they in these situations. It says, for the good are good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. If you're going against the will of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, evil things are going to come to you. Whether that be, you know, rape, robbery, murder, pillaging, somebody breaking your house, somebody standing outside your door, you know, you got to come into the, the, the full submergence of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, or you're going to be in trouble. It says, there'll be spirits, verse 28, there'll be spirits that are created for vengeance, in their, which in their theory lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So these spirits that jump on these people that cause them to do these type of things, hey, the Lord uh, ultimately created them, and 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 and, um, and, and, uh, and in the time of destruction, they pour out their force. So they're coming to the time of destruction, they're coming to the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, she sounded like she was Northern Kingdom. Hey, man, the Lord's going to have these spirits pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. They're going to appease the Lord with this, you know, destruction they're about to bring, man. With this, you know, you know, turmoil and death and destruction, you know, because you people are wicked. Because when it was time to repent, you laughed, you scoffed, you mocked, and you're going to be crying for Jesus to help your ass. I mean, he ain't coming. Okay. Let me see. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. Um, let me grab this. I get back to work, but this is uh, Judges chapter 10, verse 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. So the Lord is not going to deliver you no more. When you're in trouble, when you need him the most, he's not going to deliver you, man. He's going to say this Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen and let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Her, her son ain't going to be able to, you know, he's, he was too young to, to, to defend her, okay, or, or defend them. You know, so the Lord said, go and cry to the gods which you have called. And she's calling for 911. She's going to be calling for Jesus soon, man. Jesus. And he ain't coming to save nobody because that's not the true God of the Bible, man. The true God of the Bible is Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. And the prophets are out there warning the people of him, telling him, telling you that he's coming. Pay attention. Take heed. You know, get, get, get in line. Repent or you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay. You got spirits, people, you know, hey, the Lord's high spirit. Who is that? Get out of here. He steps back and look how he just. Get out of here! Look how he just stands there, man. He's, you know, real creepo, man. So imagine when there is no 911. Imagine when there is no cops. You think he's going to get 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 out of there next time? Nope. It's going to be on and popping, man. Yeah, how about shots to be feared? Shalom, Kwame Shwala, Baba Ball.